Oftentimes, I start the day by looking at investing.com to get a perspective of what's happening. There's a lot of information on there. Looking at it this evening, it's showing that the Asian stocks are looking to be pretty good for tomorrow. We had Biden elected today, not elected, but inaugurated. Senate confirmed some people, Janet Yellen and oil, all hit the news today. <laughs> Lots of green on the S&P 500 today. And I believe the S&P 500, many of the indexes hit an all time high at exactly around the inauguration time at 12 o'clock. <laughs> this looks very strong. Indexes looked very strong today. The S&P and the SPY continually moving up, 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 up. Stocks only go up. Taking a list, a watch list of over 150 stocks and back testing it against the RSI indicator and the MACD indicator, I can see the number of win rates for each of my stocks. This is set on the RSI and they're saying that the errands at a 94% win rate using the RSI, whereas ADI has a 67% win rate back tested from one year using the RSI. Here's 100 and the list goes down through all 150 of my stocks. Then I take an Omni broker program that looks for RSI singles for the day using the daily time frame, the MACD singles for the day using the daily time frame, the zigzag which is an indicator showing or hopefully showing the regime changes and whether the stock has went above its 50 MA or below the 50 MA which is typically indicated when it's above the 50 MA it's typically showing bullish and below again is bearish. And these are the stocks. 3M was an RSI buy several days ago. Let's take a look at the RSI and the MACD singles for the day. First one is 3M. Quickly going through this, I made a buy several days ago and it looking terrific today. Long term trend up. I thought it was at a pullback here and it appears to be the RSI single occurred here and here. I take an RSI single once it goes below the 30 and crosses over to 30. Very simple indicator to use, but it doesn't work with all stocks. And it's not very good with stocks that are trading closely or long-term trending stocks. It does not work well. You have to use the MACD for that. And the short RSIs, Bank of New York is a new one today. They must have reported, anyway, a couple days ago. We had an RSI short in Telsa. Telsa is not moving very well. Regime change here. RSI single here. Not dropping. Maybe tomorrow. Progressive insurance showing a buy. RSI, excuse me, MACD. Long term regime, regime change. Trend up. This really seems to be just flopping around here. This is a pharmaceutical. The three Qs, again, a, a buy single. Whether it continues in tomorrow, that's up to you. And of course, SPY, MACD, long-term turn up. Will it continue? That's up to you. And the last one I'd like to talk about is SPE and showing an MACD short here. Regime change, RSI drifting downward. Still above the MA. And when the stock is up above the MA, you have to take your chances I probably would not take this for the upward trend of the MA, the 50 MA. No, not take it as a short, I'd wait for a, a long. So in conclusion, we have three RSI singles, several MACD singles, and we haven't discussed the zigzag at this time. These stock symbols are recently have crossed over upward direction of the 50 MA or downward which indicates that in order to, indicates a bearish condition, upward to a bullish. Based on the days being a green day, and based on the volatility of the market and the uncertainty for tomorrow, I'm going to sleep on this and probably just monitor 
the trades that I already have in existence. I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. The videos will get better as we become more familiar with the video production process. Stay with us. Thank you very much.